Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the 10 top pain triggers for CRPS. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I make new videos every week about CRPS and I'd love to have you as part of the community. Okay, so let's get right into the video. Today I'm going to be talking about the 10 top pain triggers for CRPS. Number one, I feel like this is the biggest pain trigger. That is stress. It not only just affects the regional area that may be having overworked for the day, but it just affects everything. If I get stressed out, I feel like it's a little bit more intense. The second top trigger for pain is just overuse. If you're using it too much, and sometimes too much is not a lot, but just using it too much can lead to additional pain. The third top pain trigger is repetition. And this is um, kind of goes along with overuse, but this is just a small movement many times that can cause additional pain. For example, say that you have RSD in your arm or your wrist and you just maybe um, use something to scrub some dishes or you know just this small little repetition of something can be enough to trigger pain sometimes for me even just texting too much on my phone can start making my pain flare up the fourth pain trigger is cold temperatures for you guys that have been out in the cold with crps you know exactly what i'm talking about but Cold temperatures definitely bring additional pain. Stay warm, stay warm. The fifth top trigger for pain with CRPS are minor injuries. These can be something as simple as stubbing your toe on the side of the bed or, you know, smashing your finger in a door. Things that people would just say, ouch, and shake off for a, you know, a few minutes later may end up causing you uh, pain for days. So just a minor injuries can be a big pain trigger. Six is rain. Yeah, it's not actually the rain, it's the lowering of the barometric pressure, but this can definitely bring additional pain. Sometimes I say that I can predict the rain better than the weatherman can because I can feel it coming. Number seven is sitting or standing too long. And this is especially true if you have CRPS and a lower limb. A lot of times you just gotta get laying flat to get the blood flow consistent. And sitting up too long can really start making things hurt. If you're in that situation, try to get up, walk around, move around. If at possible, lay down flat, even for a few minutes to help getting your blood flow better. Okay, number eight, loud noises. This affects some people and not others. This can, one, have to do with the vibrations that you're feeling, can really just set off the nervous system and make it excitable. Anytime you make that nervous system excited, it's more than likely gonna bring some additional pain. Number nine is wind. A lot of us that have hypersensitivity, being out and just having the slightest breeze on your limb can make it painful and make things more sensitive. And number 10 is lack of rest. This is pretty common for people that have RSD. It's difficult to sleep for long periods of time. You don't really feel like you're getting that deep sleep when you're in that much pain. Try to get as much rest as you can, even if it means trying to take naps throughout the day, because without sleep, it can really get your pain escalated. Okay, that's it today for my 10 top triggers for pain. If I haven't listed one that really affects you, list it down below in the comments. I would be anxious to hear what you have to say. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. I make new videos every week, so I would love to have you as part of the community. Till next time, take care.